Welcome back to my channel. Hi, my name is Heidi. If you're new here, I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel. Today, I'm gonna do a full face of Charlotte Tilbury. I love Charlotte Tilbury makeup so much, and I do also work at Charlotte Tilbury. I just wanted to show you some of my favorite products, and I wanted to show you how I get ready whenever I have work because. When I'm at work, I'm wearing all Charlotte Tilbury. If that sounds like fun to you, then please keep on watching. Give this video a thumbs up and let's just get started. Let's start with the face makeup. I'm gonna apply primer first. This is Wonder Glow. It is super, super pretty on the skin. It has a nice sparkle in it. To be honest, this looks really nice even just by itself. It has like a nice smoothening effect to the skin, like you can feel it smoothening your skin when you apply it. This also works really well for all skin types. Next I'm gonna apply foundation. This is the Beautiful Skin Foundation in 2N. I do have 10 on at the moment, so I typically use 4N. But I think I'm only gonna apply a little bit of this to the center of my face, which is, as you can see here, I have a little bit more redness and I don't always apply foundation to my entire face just because I don't feel like I need it in the center of my face is where I mostly get like my breakouts and all of that so I don't feel the need to bring the foundation all the way to the perimeter of my face I have just realized that I actually don't have a concealer so we will be using the foundation only and no concealer just gonna use my buffing brush I really need to get a Charlotte Tilbury concealer because I really just don't have one at the moment but luckily this is medium buildable coverage so I'm just gonna add a little bit more coverage to the areas where I need it like under my eyes and to the scar and breakout here on my cheek you can see how well that like covered the redness on my face and also how pretty the finish of this is it's very skin like and when I go to work I really go between this and Light Wonder, those are the two foundations that I like to wear from Charlotte Tilbury and I am not a foundation person at all, but I really like these two foundations I'm just gonna add a little bit more to my breakouts just using my finger and also under my eyes Here you can see how well they're covered just with one additional layer on top even my under eyes which are <laughs> quite dark and um, they got covered really nicely if you haven't tried the beautiful skin foundation yet i do think it's worth the money and the finish is just so pretty and as you can see here like you really barely need like a concealer if you're not worried about like you can still see these through the foundation a little bit you can still see my freckles through it but like it added coverage where I needed it and it just looks so skin like it just looks like you have really good skin and it has hyaluronic acid in it as well so it's really nice and hydrating especially if you have dry skin like me you need this let's move on to the next product this is the Hollywood Flawless Filter I'm sure everyone's already tried it mine is in shade 1 which is the lightest shade I find that I can use this even when I have a tan on because it's just so sheer I find all the time customers ask um, what this is actually for and it's basically just a multi-purpose glow product This is how I like to use it, I apply it pretty much everywhere My jawline, cheekbone, here above the brow, under the brow bone, on the bridge of my nose, above my lip, a little bit on the chin, like that And it just adds a little bit more luminosity to your skin it doesn't really add any coverage sometimes I like to use a dark shade of it like a shade 6 or something as a cream bronzer it looks really really pretty if you like a luminous cream bronzer you can also use this under your foundation if you wanted to or mix it in with your foundation especially if you have like a matte foundation that you really like but you wish it was a little bit more like radiant just mix it with this and it will look bomb. Next I'm gonna use the contour one. This is in a fair medium, the lighter shade. I always use this really sparingly. I'm like scared I will push too much product out, but 
yeah you really don't need a lot of this it's a super super pigmented i've had this for around six months and i still have a lot of product left so um it does last a long time so i did two dots on the cheekbone one on the temples and i'm using my foundation brush to blend it out look how natural that color is i really really like the color of this whatever is left on the brush i'll just brush to the sides of my nose and there you see you see how contoured my face looks but it also looks like a natural contour too like it doesn't look like i actually necessarily apply product there it blends out so seamlessly now let's add some powder i use this all the time and there's actually already like a dent in it because i have used it that much it's the airbrush flawless powder of course this is just like the kind of powder that's just so finely milled that you can just reapply it throughout the day and it doesn't look cakey just gonna apply this under my eyes i use the shade one fair which is pretty much like a translucent shade as you can see there it basically just takes the shine away so i just normally like to set the very center of my face this is really the area where I get oily, so I put a little extra powder in that area only. Let's use some blush next. This is actually probably my favorite blush from Charlotte Tilbury. It's called First Love, and that's the color of it. It's a really nice peachy pink blush. I know a lot of people really like the Ecstasy blush. I think this is really similar, but just a little bit lighter. Because I have a lighter skin tone, I really prefer this, actually. I have tried both. This is what I use most of the time when I'm at work. But I also like the Pillow Talk blush, the original. Look at that color. I love that so much. And I like pile it on, too. <laughs> but yeah, I was saying Pillow Talk original is really nice natural color. It's almost like a mixed between bronzer and blush whenever i use it i don't really use a bronzer with it because i feel like i don't need it or the contour wand i feel like i can just use that one product but this is definitely my fave and you know i like a lot of blush so i just keep building the color i feel like a lot of people don't really gravitate towards this blush just because it looks so light in the pan but as you can see you can definitely see the color on the face if you are a lighter skin tone like me next is a super exciting product the highlighter this is the pillow talk multi glow in romance light so this is the lighter of the two shades honestly i could wear either one i think i might get the darker one at some point because it's so pretty it's such a nice bronzy color let's use a highlighter brush with it so i'm just gonna pick up all the colors and apply this on my cheek here. Wow. It is super pretty. It has like four different colors. This one stripe here has like bigger glitter to it that are a little bit more like pinky tone. So it looks really nice and like interesting on the face. wow put a little bit under the brow as well bridge of the nose above the lip other cheekbone wow look at that so pretty this packaging is one of my favorites from charlotte tilbury and that is it for the skin let's move on to the eyebrows and eyes i have a lot of eyeshadow palettes that i've bought from charlotte tilbury over the last like six months or so and i have a lot of favorites and i really like to have a selection of different ones so i can always really switch up my look whenever i go to work but i have to say that the rebel is like in my i don't want to say it's my favorite maybe in the top three because i have a couple of palettes that i would consider like my favorites but i just i love greens and these are really really wearable greens as you're going to see and it's nice that it has that pop of gold as well and i also have one charlotte tilbury eye blender brush 
these are really nice quality and we're just gonna do a really simple eye look and I'm gonna start with the gold shade there. I'm gonna apply this to the inner corner and inner third of the eyelid. Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows are primer infused, so you really don't need an eyeshadow primer with them. I normally have my entire face of Charlotte Tilbury makeup on when I go to work for about 12 hours. I've never seen any kind of like fading in my eyeshadow or anything like that, no like flaking nothing like that so the eyeshadow quality is really nice next i'm gonna go in with that shade right next to the gold shade which is the enhance shade and that is going on to the rest of the eyelid and i'm also gonna blend this after i put it on the eyelid i'm also gonna blend it in the crease i start with the eyelid so that most of the product will stay there. This is just such a pretty sort of cocky green, gold green color. Next I'm picking up that shade right there and that is the smoke shade. It's the darkest shade in the palette. It's like a matte base but it has bigger glitters in it so it looks so so pretty and that goes just on the outer corner of the eye add a little bit more depth there. What I really like about these eyeshadow palettes is that they're super easy to work with and there are also a ton of tutorials on Charlotte Tilbury's um, Instagram and YouTube channel as well. There you can see how that darkened that outer corner. Lastly, the one, the shade there in that corner under the gold is the pop shade. It typically works best when you use your finger. So that's what we're gonna do today. And I'm just going to add this to the center of the lid and it's a really pretty sort of green gold shift and it really marries that gold in the inner corner and the green in the rest of the eye together. You can definitely get a lighter look out of this as well. I personally prefer dark eye makeup and a nude lip. I mean it kind of depends on my mood but most of the time I will go for a nude lip and a dark smoky eye. <laughs> then I'm taking a smaller pencil brush and that shade there next to the gold and that goes on the lower lash line. And an eyeliner that I always like to use with this palette is the Magic Liner Duo in green lights. So it has a matte dark green on one side and a metallic green on the other side. And this formula is super long lasting. These are really, really wearable as well. A lot of people, I think, they're scared because they see, oh, it's green. But sometimes when I'm wearing that dark green, you really can't see that it's a green and not a like a black or, you know, dark brown color unless you're looking at it really close or if the light hits it just right. I'm taking the darker matte side first and I'm just using this on the top lash line. And then I'm taking the metallic side and I'm putting that on the lower sort of lash line and on the waterline as well. And there you can see the difference between this and this eye. It just makes it a little bit darker, a little bit smokier. And Charlotte Tilbury has three different mascaras, actually kind of four because there was just a new one that came out in this Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes formula that's like a Pillow Talk color, which is that nice berry brown color. Um, I actually don't have that one yet, but it looks so pretty on and I'm definitely gonna get it at some point. Out of all of these, like Full Fat Lashes is really good at separating lashes in my opinion. This is a mascara that never gets clumpy, so it's a really great everyday mascara and it adds a nice amount of volume to the lashes. And this is the wand, in case anyone was wondering. Legendary Lashes Volume 2 is, I think, the most dramatic formula. It can get a little bit clumpier than the Full Fat Lashes because it makes your lashes look a little bit thicker. It adds a nice amount of volume and length. This is the wand of Legendary Lashes Volume 2. There's also Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara, which has this interesting wand here that's flat on one side and then it has bristles on the other. And it does a nice job at sort of adding darkness to the roots of the lashes and then separating the ends. It makes your lashes look really kind of wispy and um, it gives you a nice little lift as well. I think I use the Legendary Lashes Mascara most out of all those three. 
so i'm gonna use that today and because my lashes are a little bit more on the longer side i don't like to use a lash curler really anymore because i find that my mascara stays on so much better if i don't curl my lashes i think it just smudges up here too much if i curl them i've been able to find some mascaras that give me a nice little lift without having to use a lash curler anyway there we go, that's just one coat of mascara. So I'm gonna use the Brow Lift in Soft Brown. Um, this is a really nice, bigger brow pencil, but I think I would definitely recommend the Brow Cheat over the Brow Lift, if you were planning to get one. The color is really nice. I use Soft Brown, I feel like it has a little bit of warmth, which I have in my hair as well, so it really suits me, so I'm just sort of filling in the tail of my brow there and sharpening that front bit and I have recently laminated my brows so they do stay in shape really nicely without any brow gel at the moment and that's my brow without the pencil and that is with pencil this is probably my favorite of the, all the brow products this is the legendary brows i have the shade soft brown in this as well it has like this micro spoolie that's just so nice and it really coats all your brow hairs like if you're like me and you have some like white brow hairs or really blonde brow hairs this is the quickest way to literally just give them a tint especially when my brows are laminated like they are right now this legendary brows is enough to keep my brow hairs in place all day the legendary brows just kind of defines your brow hairs individually i don't know what it it's i feel like it's really like a magical product it's one of my favorite charlotte tilbury products for sure i would say use a light hand because if you press it too much you're gonna get the tint to your skin and it's just gonna look too intense so really make sure you're only touching the brow hairs we only have one product category left that is lips so first i'm gonna do a little bit of my lip contour i use the hollywood contour wand that i use for my cheeks and i just dab a little bit to the center of my lips here like that one dot above the cupid's bow one dot or on right on top of the cupid's bow and one under my lip and then I just use my finger to blend it to my actual lip line. You don't want to blend like up because otherwise you're gonna create a mustache. And that is it for the lip contour. <laughs> Super easy. The lip cheat lip liners are one of my favorite formulas. I think the only lip liners that I've found that last even longer on the lips are the Refi lip liners. I hope I'm saying that brand name right because I already forgot how to pronounce it. This is in the shade Iconic Nude, which is my favorite. I use this pretty much every day when I go to work. I like to color in the outer corners. It's such a good nude color. My favorite nude lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury is the Penelope Pink lipstick which is this this is actually the lip combo that i use the most and then i just put normally because i'm talking all day at work i feel like my lips get a little bit like dry so i use a little bit of like lip oil or lip gloss on top but this is just such a great combo iconic nude and penelope pink i'm gonna dab just a tiny bit of gloss on top this is the lip luster in pillow talk just at the very, very center. Because I don't want to change the color too much because I love Penelope Pink. Last step is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This really does keep your makeup on longer and it's a nice hydrating formula as well and it smells incredible and the mist is super fine. That is it, that's the finished look. Super glowy, dark eye makeup, nude lip, bold brows, that's what I really like. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it didn't sound too much like an ad for Charlotte Tilbury. I just genuinely love all their products. Otherwise, I wouldn't use them. I mean, if you have ever tried Charlotte Tilbury products, I'm pretty sure you have probably liked them. I'd say if you only want to invest in like one product category, my personal favorite is probably all the complexion stuff. 
So I would say get yourself a Hollywood Flawless Filter, Beautiful Skin or Light Wonder Foundation. The Airbrush Flawless Powder is a must. Of course, the new beautiful highlighter that is insane if you like your glow to be really intense, then get that highlighter. I really love the blushes as well. Thanks so much for checking out this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you have any questions about any products at all or any questions in general, please leave them in the comments down below and I will make sure to answer them. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. If you are already a subscriber, then thank you so much for subscribing. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I hope to see you here next time. Bye!